The city of Effingham is welcoming Speedway back into its town to open what may be the city's fifth fueling station slash convenience store. And putting emphasis on fueling station since it's not exactly a truck stop. The city's mayor Jeff Blumker says he's happy for the new business, but others don't think the location is ideal. Stationed between a Comfort Suites and a Walgreens, the city of Effingham approved the location for a proposed Speedway fueling station. Mayor Jeff Blumker wants to make sure it's not being confused for an actual truck stop. It's, it's, it's more of a fueling station that, that accommodates trucks. So they're, they're really, they're not there for overnight stays. There won't be a restaurant. And with the city already having at least four current stations, why add another one? It'll, it'll be a good revenue producer. I don't think there's any doubt that they'll, it will produce a, a, a nice level of revenue and, and Effingham. Lumker also says the new site was more convenient for truck drivers, but how convenient is it for surrounding businesses? Blumker says a representative from a nearby Comfort Inns came to the city council meeting to express his concerns. But he just wanted to make sure we did everything we could to, to try to minimize any kind of noise concerns. He was concerned about noise that the trucks might have, and which is logical. It's not the best location for a gas station, but it does bring extra traffic, which brings us extra business, which brings us extra money. So it's got its ups and its downs. Blumker also says another plus is the city isn't losing any money on the project. He says Speedway will cover the costs. We're not having to come up with any lines of revenue. Speedways, this is all, we, they, they didn't even come in and ask for any types of incentives or assistance. Uh, so. Blumker says the city council will give the project its final approval at their meeting next Tuesday night. He says construction on Fayette Avenue's lot is expected to start in the spring of 2017 and ending around next summer or fall.